Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube logo with transparent background using only Filmora 10. So I know that there are many software and applications you can use to create a logo for your channel. By the way, either you, you don't want to, if you don't want to uh, install them and use other applications like Photoshop or Canva or stuff like that, you can use only Filmora 10 to create a simple YouTube logo with just five minutes or stuff like that. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm on my computer and this is Filmora 10.4, the latest version of Filmora uh, video editor. Okay, so let's start with uh, this button, creating a new project. So the purpose of today's tutorial is to create a simple you know, YouTube logo with, with transparent background. So I'm only use text. By the way, you can you know, add some effect and some elements. It's up to you. Okay, so the first thing, uh, we want to add a title uh, onto the timeline. So I'm going to title here and go to title again. And I'm going to use this one, uh, the default title. And let's drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now we can click this button to extend it uh, to view everything on the timeline. So now we have a channel here. Uh, we can change the text to my channel, right? And the first, the first text I want to change is Jackie. It is my channel. I'm going to double click at the title. Now I'm going to change it to Jackie. All right. And now I want to change the fonts, right? Uh, so I'm going to change it to my favorite fonts. Uh, be bad. B, yes, be bad news. This is the first tag, and I want to uh, to extend the character inside. So what I'm going to uh, to do here, I'm going to increase the text space here. Okay, and now I want to ch uh, change the size also. I think 60 is okay. So uh, we are going to change it to 60. And I think this works uh, look fine. And now we need another text. So what I'm going to do here, here is to copy this title box. Right click here and select copy. And then I'm going to lock this track. And now I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste that title. Okay, so now I have this one and I'm going to change this one. So this one, I'm going to change it to my name, my last name. Okay. And also extend the text space to make it fit with the first one. Okay, so the next thing I want to change the, the text color, this color to uh, blue, because I think blue and red is something that I want to, to use for my logo. So I, I'm going to uh, click here and click more. And then we can select this blue. Okay, and then click OK. So that is for the Nguyen, this is my last name. And now I want to change uh, my first name to red. And I'm going to select it and I'm going to select color again and cl click more. And change it to red and I'm going to click OK. So I think it's fine. Uh, by the way, in order to check if the logo is right or uh, is okay or not, uh, we can put a white background here, just see the contrast contrast between the text and and the background so i'm going to media and then i'll go to sample color and i'm going to drag this one up one track and now i'm going to use this one uh, the y sample color so to see so how it look like uh, i think it's okay by the way you can uh, you can walk around with the the forms the side the color and the shadow and and borders uh, for your channel if you want okay so i think it's okay so the next thing i want to take take a screenshot uh, if i'm happy with my logo okay so go back to the folder now i'm going to take a screenshot and uh, by doing that well, we have just created a logo with transparent background okay so the screenshot will be in my folder by the way it is a little bit laggy okay so this is my logo so now i can delete everything here and also unhide this track and now I put uh, I will put a video and then I will put my logo at the corner of the of the video to see how it looks okay so go to the sample video and now we can select any so this one and drag and drop it here on the timeline 
and now I'm go back to the folder and then I use this snapshot just drag and drop it here or the timeline and now we have it here at the center by the way we can scale it down okay like this and then put it at the corner of the video just like this so we have just uh, create a logo with transparent background using only Femora 10 so I think it's okay it's, it's fine because uh, my logo is on the video and it will stay there forever I'm sorry not forever at the end of the video okay okay so if you want to extend the duration of the logo to the end of the video all you need to do is to click here click and drag this edge to the end of the video it will be at the end of the video and if you want to to have some animation for your logo you can use animation keyframe here uh, and if you want to watch my tutorial about animation keyframe you can watch it here on the top left or top right of the, the screen okay so mm, supposing that uh, I have this logo ready and I want to use it for all of my project for uh, this project and next project so what I'm going to do is to drag and drop it into the share media here okay so I'm going to drag and drop it uh, to this folder so it will be in this folder and whenever I want to use it I, all I need to do is to go to this folder and drag and drop it to my next project and that is how you can reuse the material in Femora 10 okay so that's enough for today tutorial I think it's uh, interesting and helpful for you if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.